Good morning, lovelies. Rosie Shiloh here. Uh, just a quick jump on another question I've had a bit lately or seen around the traps is around whether you should be charging what you earned in your last job or trying to, trying to, ugh, me can't speak English, <laughs> trying to um, work out how much you want to bring home based on your last job. Now, um, it's really important to remember, hi, Marianne, you, all, you know all this, Marianne. It's remembered. It's important to remember that when you had a job, your income was not the only expense your boss had to keep you there working. There are so many, so many expenses that they paid for above and beyond your wage, your super, your sick leave, your annual leave. These are things that you kind of think, oh yeah, I need to factor those in, but they are just the start. So you do need to factor those in. Nobody's gonna pay them to you now. You need to factor that into your hourly rate, if hourly rate is what you're going for, or into your package, if that is what you're going for. On top of that, all of the things you took for granted in the job, you now need to pay for. So you might wanna consider work cover expenses, that's up to you, but you definitely need to have all of the equipment that was just there sitting in front of you when you had your job. Now, when you had your job, t uh, odds are, if you were working in administration, for example, odds are that business was still doing marketing and they were paying someone to do marketing for that business. And they were probably paying someone to do bookkeeping for that business and they were paying for insurances for you and for everybody else there. And then they were paying for little perks that you were hoping you'd get throughout the year and they were paying for the coffee machine and they were paying for the milk and they were paying for the chair and they were paying for the office and all of the things. Now, there's going to be a few of them that you don't need to worry about, so obviously the office, but you do wanna make sure you're recouping back some of the expenses of running your business from home. But you also wanna factor in, you're gonna to need to have some marketing, whether you're the one doing the marketing or someone else is doing the marketing, that is an expense of time and also marketing budget. That's just one thing. So all of the things that it takes to run your business successfully, write them all down, please, are things you need to factor into what you charge. Okay, whatever you got in your job, whether it was an award rate or whatever it was, is nothing on what it's going to cost for you to earn what you wanna earn and keep your business successful, okay? There is a calculator spreadsheet on the Virtually Yours website that you can purchase. It's like five bucks or nine bucks or something like that. So you can pop in what those expenses will be, how many hours you have available to work, how many of those you think are going to be billable, not all of your hours are gonna be billable. No one's gonna sit there and pay you to do shit that's not actually directly for a client anymore. No one's gonna pay you to have a toilet break. No one's gonna pay you to hang out with your friends at the water cooler. You need to factor all of that in. And then you might have the starting point for what you need to earn. Now then you need to calculate, is someone gonna pay me this amount to do this thing, to create this outcome? And then, you can determine whether it's worth it or not. You might have to go back to the drawing board. Who knows? You might need a one-to-one -one session with me to work it out. Either way, please stop thinking that what you earned in your job is what you need to be charging out. It doesn't work that way. Business is fun, <laughs> isn't it? All right, have a great day. Uh, Facebook never shows me any comments. I'm sure you have so many comments that have popped up below. I can't hold on, oh, it's just too much. Um, so, you know, cause you're all so loud and boisterous. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your experiences. I know that, hi Liz, I know that heaps of VAs have started off their business at lower rates and have regretted it because it's harder to increase your rates than it is to sell your higher rate. So if you know what the problem is you solve and your ideal client will pay the rate that you need to charge them to meet all of the things that I just said, then do that. Don't start undercharging just because you're worried you won't get a client. All right, that's me. I'm gonna get cracking into work. Just wanted to pipe up, hope that, hope that helps. <laughs> Clearly, if you're wondering if English is my second language, no, it's my fifth. I'll speak to you all soon, bye.